Hello everybody, Mr. Rum here. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. In the last episode, we got this port built here and set up and running for our coal ships. They're moving coal. I don't think they're moving anything else at the moment. Because I don't think the trucks are set up to move anything else at the moment. Well, we might change that at some point. But for now, they're just moving coal. And... Yeah, moving quite a bit. I think the two ships are probably fine for that purpose. But we'll keep an eye on it. We're moving coal to bring into the uh, the steel mill. The steel is getting produced along with slag and then picked up by the train. Over here, brought back here, getting sent to the uh, tools factory. Tools being made, being brought over here. All those good sorts of things. So, I think that we're kind of going to take a break on freight for the time being. We're going to let this whole system kind of bed in, then we'll, we'll take a look at it in a little bit. And, oh. and then we'll, uh, we'll see how... Oh, I think I need to check. There we go. Um, we'll see how it all looks. A little bit and what i want to do is go back to passengers because i'd like to get a new passenger route started running along the what i'm calling the southern end of the map um coming through creed pitkin eventually potentially heading out to victor central city all right and so forth coming across the southern line of the map i think at least the very you know, at the very least, I'd like to get, you know, a Temecula to Creed line set up and then run that out to Pitkin. And we'll figure out how exactly we're going to do that. Because what I'd like to do is, is a little bit of kind of a, a grid, if we could call it that. Is we're going to run a line out here and then I want to run a line kind of coming through this valley out of Victor. South Pass City, and then we might have to kind of fork a little bit with the line heading out to Animus Forks and Ruby, and then maybe connecting into Deadwood, and then another line coming over here to Bodie, and then connecting into Bannock, right? To kind of link into that system. Um, and then we'll see. Odd City's got to kind of get in there somewhere at some point as well. Um, and El Monte is going to have to get connected to somewhere. We'll see how that all works out. But we're going to get started over here and we're going to have to figure out how we're going to get passengers from Temecula to Creed. And uh, the complication here is this, this elevation change, which is kind of the story of the map, is these elevation changes and how we deal with them I think I am going to use Temecula. I don't think I'm going to come out of Port Arthur. Though, to some extent, Port, Ar Port Arthur might be easier. Hmm. What I was thinking is maybe using a non-train system. To come out of Temecula. And I had an idea. Well, we got a lot of money in the bank. We got some time. So let's, let's go ahead and give it a shot. But for one thing, I want to make sure that we get connected to... The tram system in, in Temecula to bring passengers through to eventually get to that train station. I mean, the thought would be to just add another station here or add another platform, rework rework the connection here, run another line kind of coming out there, but nah, nah, we're gonna do something else. Hmm. 
There's that. But that's gonna kind of monkey with that road route. Which is starting to get somewhat busy. It may need to get reworked here completely at some point. Because that's going to be necessary for the trucks that are carrying fish and other goods. So, I am thinking we're going to do... We're going to use this stop. And... I'd like to try to use a cable car. Aerial tramway. What does this do? Question is, now what are you? I think that's a depot of some description or a station. Cable car bendy middle station. I see. Middle station. I guess these are ending stations. to do is just um, rip out some of these roads. Yeah, because I'm kind of in the way a little bit. No idea what I'm doing. I've never used this mod before, so um All right, we can make it really tall. Okay, we don't necessarily need to do that. Length left. Curvature left. All right, well, let's just put one there. What I really like to do is just use this to kind of get up the hill. I've tried to upgrade that road, and it's going to be a pain in the butt to upgrade that road.
these roads probably need to be reworked a little bit. that there. It's also does cargo? Give a car aerial tram. sense because this is just cable why does it want to do that uh let's let's flatten tool and then let's Question is uh, what's the That's just stations. That's a station. That's a station. are classified as depots. Hmm. Well, let's just set this up. Is actually signaling that has to go on there. Um, I 
help if I could type. Okay. Did I not put the other cable in? Looks like I didn't. Well, that would probably be why. change this up. And make this a cable car station. signaling this. Yeah, I want to go that way. wants to use a different kind of cable. Just figure this out for a minute. Okay, I think I figured it out. Well, one thing there, there is a uh, there's a depot that you actually have to have attached to it in the configurable options, and I changed up the type, the tower type, and the cable type, and the. Uh, here and it seems to be working so that works all right so let's go into the depot
Aerial tramway cabin. Yeah, I think this isn't the aerial tramway. Let's put that on there and let's see what it looks like. This is taking a lot longer to actually put on there than... Yeah, that's not the right kind. This is the one. Yeah, that's the one that works there. What is this? Cargo stomp cannot be used by passenger vehicle. What? Is that on the cargo? Oh. There we go. Passengers. Well, I'd really rather not use the, uh, that little tiny chairlift. I think that's what these are for. Now that I have a better sense of things, let me try and redo this one more time. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I think I finally got it. Maybe not. Put the line on the cargo side again. No, I don't think it did. There's something goofy going on here. That shouldn't be there. the depot again. Let's just delete the line. Let's recreate it. Why isn't it using both sides?
Hmm. I'm a tad confused. What the plan was going to be was to build this tramway to get up the hill, right? Get up the hill and then hop on trams or buses to get into the city. But it's fighting me. I have the signaling all set up. I'm missing something? I mean, it's not like I need to do something like this, do I? Seem kind of silly. But it looks like that's what it might have to be. Basically, just have to treat it like it's a train track. Odd. Let me just find all the all the vehicles that are currently on this line. Depot that I use. Okay, well, I mean, if it's working, it's working. If it's working, it's working. All right. Now, the next thing that I was going to do, <laughs> if this didn't take forever, was to rework this road. It's a large country road with tram. Yeah. Uh, no, let's not do tram. The thing is, is it coming through here? This whole thing is going to have to get reworked. Be the first run of upgrading this. We'll probably have to come back through here again at some point. Rework a lot of these roads. Yeah, 
its tram system is gonna get really, really significantly improved, I think. Well, it actually needs one. It does not have one at the moment. All right. So what I think we would do is we would actually put a like a full on tram station. No. Maybe this one? Yeah, kind of like that. Medium, or actually we'll go with large. Two loops. Now one loop I think should be fine. Shelter style will be 1980. Shelter style. Glass. Alright. Yeah, and then we'll want to get that kind of in here. Alright, just a sec. Actually, I think we want two loops. We're going to want one for the buses and one for the trams. All right, and then for road. I'd like to have bus lane on that, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. No, we can't put bus lane on there. All right, we'll just deal with it. Because this tram... You know, there's a passenger station. Oh, that's for workers. All right, that's to supply workers. Could incorporate that. That does cover a lot of town. All right. Lane on there. Get rid of that. Okay. Next, what I might want to do is your system. Let's get rid of this. We'll fix that in a second. Actually, manage the line. It's the central street.
Okay, I think... Is there an issue? Not connect all stations. Alright, so let's just run through this real quick. I'm, this is going to be a little bit of a long episode. Pine Street. This is a bus route, not a tram route. Right. And that road isn't connected. So here, here we go. Okay, it makes sense. Done. Okay. That's not the best. Better. All right. Let's set up some bus stops or just passenger stops in general. You there. You there. That ought to work. See, how much do you cover? How much do you cover? Eh, yeah, they kind of cover both. Enough. Alright. On line one. Sure that gets renamed right. And this is the tram four. Read. Let's actually put the uh, tram depot like maybe over here. Oh, we got new cargo trams. Give me four of these. Tram Creed. Put them on there. All right, and then we're gonna need a bus route. No, bus. Bus tram. Thirty meters. Drop you there. Actually, I don't want to have tram line on that. Just bus.
Does this not also function as a bus stop? Hmm. Well, I mean, it's easy enough to fix. Just put a bus stop. Eh, there you go. All right. Get rid of everything, and we'll just add the stations back in again. Ay ay ay. Okay, there, and then there. There we go. It's a bit weird, but hey. Do you have a road depot somewhere? That's a tram depot. Oh, I didn't need another tram depot. Oh well. Just gonna put a couple buses on here and then we'll be done. Give me like four buses. That's a whole bunch of stuff. This is gonna be, uh, I guess, bus. Uh, Creed Relay. That's what we call that. All right, and uh, that should all work. And that took a lot longer than I had hoped, but um, it should hopefully work. These are our new passenger trams. Okay, good. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and stop here for today and uh, hope that, that all works correctly. <laughs> we'll see. All right, but for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.